number of Hoosier students who are missing too many days of school has gone down, according to a brand new report from the State Board of Education. Fox 59 State House reporter Hannah Adamson explains what steps the state is taking for these kids and schools who are still at risk. We believe the state's heading in the right direction. For the second year in a row, the number of Hoosier kids missing more than 10% of school days has gone down. It is essential that we keep improving that number. The State Board of Education, or SBOE, announcing the overall chronic absenteeism rate, although higher than pre-pandemic levels, dropped down to 17.8 percent, an improvement of one and a half percent. Attendance also improved among black and Hispanic students, along with those getting free and reduced meals at school. So we have more students coming to school, but we absolutely have more work ahead. A new report shows roughly 230 30 schools had more than a third of their students chronically absent last school year. And for 75 schools, that number was more than half. So how many Indiana kids are chronically absent? Well, this bus behind me can fit about 70 to 80 of them. But to get all those kids to school on the same day, the SBOE says you'd need not one, not 10, not 100, but almost 3,000 of these buses. Uh, if students aren't in class, no wonder they're not passing the I-rate. If students aren't in class, no wonder they're not graduating. We know through data, um, unless we can get those students coming to school on a regular basis, those students will continue to struggle. To identify trends among school corporations, the SBOE says it will launch an attendance data dashboard later this month. Which will allow anyone in the public to take a look at the school corporation level, the school level, even the grade level um, for their local school to see how the uh, attendance rate is looking. Just this week, the SBOE also launched an early warning dashboard for select schools to help identify at-risk students. Because it's very easy to assume certain things about why students might be attend not attending school or attending school. But it's really important to dig down and make sure that we're tracking the right things so that we are targeting the correct students in order to assist them. Reporting in Indianapolis, I'm Hannah Adamson.